guys, it's for me and welcome back to my channel. So over the last week, Miss Mimi Lamini got her hair done. And instead of just posting a nice selfie like everybody else would when they have new hair, like new hair don't care, new hair who dis, she had posted this. Black Twitter was not having it. And child, I don't just mean South African black Twitter. American black Twitter got involved as well. That post is still up there. Not only on her Twitter, but her Instagram as well. I'm in the ghetto. You definitely laugh about this, but it is quite concerning that considering all of the backlash, the fact that she not only has not issued out an apology, but that she hasn't removed it, she hasn't responded to anyone, is really concerning. I did give you guys a heads up last week to let you know that I will be doing a lot more hair content for the next couple of weeks and my do nots was definitely one of the things that I had written down. Because every single time that I have attempted to do my do nots before, it has not come out in the way that I had anticipated. I've never had a successful bun do not out. But I was planning to do that like a while from now. I feel like now is as good a time as any to just dive right into this topic. We will be discussing why many got so much backlash for people that don't understand the context and how people could have been offended by it. I will be unraveling my bun do nots for you guys so that we can hopefully have a successful not out for the first time in see Chronicle hair history. is because girl like don't be dumb we're running a movement here people we're trying to do something we're trying to eradicate years and years and years of lies years of BS years of us being painted as inadequate as ratchet as ghetto so for a public figure like Mini Lamini to kind of dismantle everything that we are building up is a big deal and no i do not think i'm being harsh by saying that she is single-handedly dismantling it because a lot of people look up to mini Lamini. she genuinely is considered as one of south africa's sweethearts so a lot of people look up to mini with the platform that she has she has to have an understanding of the fact that there are a lot of impressionable people that are going to be watching what she's saying and that can have a direct impact. Oh, Mrs. Bricknell really was right when she said that my hair looks ghetto. She really was right when she said I look ghetto for not having hair like all the other kids in my school. You have to think about it that way, especially if you're a celebrity that potentially has a following that is that impressionable. You have to think about those things. You have to be extra careful. Not only was she not careful, but she's not willing to learn and and still has it up to this day with not only the uproar that she created here in South Africa but America as well but within that community of the people who are fighting for representation she finally represents us and then she says that she's ghetto like Miguel reconsider so enough about me let us get into the unraveling this is something that I've been waiting for for the past few days and I am really really hoping for the best you guys I'm still hoping for the best that I hope we can oh they just genuinely don't look like how I expected them to I, I do see some bounce and like some let's see let's see what we can do Okay, I'm just gonna apply more coconut oil 
around my fingers because there's a lot on my palms but not mean much on my fingers so let's just so let's just see It does not look like anything that I'd hoped, but I know a lot of the mistakes that I made. I know for sure that I made a lot of mistakes. suggest that you guys get like anything to part your hair or to hold it in place like maybe if you do not have any clips then just use a hair grip or anything like that because so much of my hair got tangled in unnecessary places which is why whenever I did undo my hair it would just get tangled and then it would like destroy the curl pattern. I also had a tendency of starting off by twisting clockwise and then once I made my knot, I would go anti-clockwise and not even realize that I am twisting it in the opposite direction. I can see with having edited for myself that I created so many tangles and knots in my hair and man, if I could just go back. Another tendency I have is to really think I'm doing something, like the confidence guys, the confidence, I was so sure that it was going to come out exactly like I wanted. Anyway you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again next Sunday. Leave a like if you liked this video, a dislike if you didn't, and share it with a friend if you feel like somebody needs to hear this. Mm -hmm.